when we say people, you know, there's this interesting uh, scripture in Amos 7, okay? I believe it's Amos 7, 1, right? Uh, let me see if I can find it. Amos 7, 1. And in, in Amos 7, 1, right? Now, it says here uh, that uh, thus has Yahweh Elohim showed unto me, behold, he formed grasshoppers in the beginning of the shooting up of the latter growth, and what was the latter growth after the king's mowings, right? Now, when you read this in the Septuagint, we talk about grasshoppers, right? The word is gob, gob, which means locust. But he's not talking about locusts here. He's talking about an army, right? And they had one grasshopper. In many, in many places, it says locusts, not grasshoppers. And it says they had one, in, in the Septuagint, it says they went, had one grasshopper, Gog, as their leader. And the Sefer does, in fact, say that. We use that phrase from the Septuagint in that passage. Because you're not talking about locusts. You're talking about an army. That's what he's talking about. And the grasshopper being the leader, Gog, is you're not talking about just locusts coming in here. It is a, a, a that word gob is a discussion about this coming army. That's why when you see these people, these locusts, not people, but these locusts that come out of the pit, yeah, they could look like locusts. They could. It's possible. And they could also be, I mean, it's hard to say what their size is going to be because it doesn't specify. It doesn't say they're going to be small like little tiny bugs. It doesn't say that. It gives you a description of what they're going to look like. But you do see quite often in Scripture this term talking about locusts, being talking about human beings as an army. They come up like locusts, right? That's what it means. And that's what I was referring to.